Great Sound Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. So TNT. Yo. I uh I have a wild thing that happened the other day. Oh yeah. Kinda wild. I mean not really, but in a bit. I'll explain. Then you'll know. <laughs> okay. So right. the other day I was flying I was flying out of town for a couple days. Oh yeah. How was your trip, <laughs> man? What? How was your trip? It was it was good. I I did stuff. It's not about that. All right, fair enough. So I was up at like, I got to be like 5.30 in the morning to get to, I had to go to the airport. I had to be at the airport at like 6.15 or something. Okay. So I'm sitting here, right where I'm sitting now. It's like 5.45 a.m. And I hear what sounds like somebody yelling through a bullhorn. And I'm like, the fuck is happening right now? Oh, man. We live in a bad neighborhood. <laughs> <clears throat> so... Yes. A couple weeks ago, there was a murder in our apartment complex. Uh, My car was stolen twice here this year. Uh, so I, I'm like, so I'm like, what the f- is that? So I open up the door. Clear as day. This is the Austin Police Department. P- we are at blah, 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 blank road. Apartment 312. James Smith. Come out with your hands up. We have a warrant for your arrest. We cannot guarantee your safety if you do not comply with the officer's requests. Over and over and over and over. For, and then by the time I was getting ready to leave, it was like, all occupants of apartment 312, come out with your hands up. We cannot guarantee your safety if you do not up- comply. And I was like, somebody's about to get shot. And I didn't get to see what happened because I had to leave for the airport. But it was I was like, everybody knew what was up, man. Bro, that's crazy. Yeah. And it wasn't at R, it was like the one behind. So it wasn't here. It was one it was like next door. What are we gonna do, man? What are we gonna do? I don't know. What are we Have you ever do? heard that before? Have you ever seen it? <laughs> you ever heard that before? You ever no, heard the cops man. just declaring warrants? Absolutely not. No, I don't live in bad neighborhoods. Usually, usually. we didn't either until today. Until today, no. till the last. I Tuesday. think it was the second time your car got stolen. I was like, yeah, maybe. That was because the damn kids lived in the the damn kids. Yeah, yeah, the get them goddamn kids. You know what? I was a damn kid one time. You know what? I never did steal a car. I didn't steal a damn car either. My brother stole cars. He would tell me he told he told me stories about him stealing cars. Really? Yeah, what did he use a Jimmy? I mean, you know, it was back in the day before they had forensics, so you could just do whatever you want. Oh yeah, you just get away with anything. You just throw a rock through a windshield and drive away. Yeah, and you just walk home. Yep, grab leave him. the car in front of your house. <laughs> just, you're just yeah. like, you're just like, I didn't do that. And they're like, oh okay, yep. just take it away. Grab him by the pussy. Nobody. What the? No. <laughs> what? what the, excuse you. What? Nobody saw me do it. So what? Just talk with this boy. Talk. Oh my him. god. But yeah, so, man, I was like. I, then I was like, what did he do? I don't know, Dude, man. if they came to your house and they're yelling your name through a, a bullhorn, yeah. you did something. Usually, that sounds like a felony warrant. I wonder if he was the guy who shot the guy who lives here. Could have been. Could Because I feel like that's a... <laughs> Jonah solving the mystery. I feel like that's a murderer. A murderer thing to do. You feel like it's a murderer thing to yeah, do? Yeah, like, like, if he was like writing bad checks... They're not coming to his house at 5.45 a.m. telling oh, him to, okay, I get you. we're going to, we cannot guarantee your safety if you do not comply. Yeah, you're saying, that's what I said. It's probably a felony. Like it sounds armed like and dangerous charges. sort of situation. Yeah, maybe like armed robbery or, you know, it could have been an assault. It could have been a homicide. We don't know. It, it is kind of crazy that it's happening so close to home because when you think about it, if there's a murderer nearby, there's a chance you could be the murderer. And there's more than one murderer. Uh, if, if there's one murderer, there's probably a lot of murderers. I mean, yeah, that is true because, you know, obviously, if you have evidence of there being one, then on a large enough number, there's going to be more. Yeah, that's how that works. I mean, the chances of me getting murdered have went up. Uh, yeah, but I feel like murders are like left-handed people, you know? Like, 
It's what not, does that mean? It's not the norm. They're, they're ab- aberrations. They're anomalies. Well, anyone can be a murderer and not anyone can Anybody be left-handed. Anybody can be left-handed, That bro. is not true. It's you not. ever You ever tried to do something left-handed? Exactly. I can't, I can't try to do anything murdery either. Oh, I mean, you absolutely could. I could, but it would be awkward as hell. It would be like me trying to write cursive with my left hand. <laughs> Trust me, I I could not be a murderer. I thought you were going to say, trust me, I've thought about murder. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah. I mean, when I wake up I've thought about night, you're standing outside my bedroom door with an axe. I, I've been there, and I was like, what are you doing? You're like, chopping wood. Honestly, I've been favoring a butcher's knife lately. Oh, I didn't. I haven't, I haven't seen yeah. that one. Yeah. You're hiding it well. I've been... <laughs> But seriously, so I don't, you know, I feel like murderers are like left-handed people. They're like, uh, you know, people with like good eyesight. <laughs> it's, just, it's weird. It's an aberration. You say people are like, they're like people with good eyesight? Yeah, that's not normal. Like, who's, how do you have twenty twenty vision? What are you doing? What are you doing with your life? You can't, you can't do that. Uh, wow. I don't know if that's the exact same thing, but kind of close, I guess. Are you saying is that people with bad eyesight are murderers? <laughs> Excuse me? This you? is where I feel like you're going with it. You're I saying mean, is that I'm a murderer now. I mean, basically. Women logic. Thank you. I Whoa. <laughs> I just did it. I did it. I did it. Girl math. Girl math? What does that mean? Uh, it's, a, it's a whole thing, Jones. Girl math was a... Uh, <sighs> It was a Twitter trend that happened a few years ago where they were talking about girl math. And it was just kind of like the way that girls do numbers. Like, oh, uh, I only have $20 until Friday, but this guy just gave me $50. So I'm going to go out drinking tonight, girl math. Oh. And technically, I made $10 because I only spent 40 of it. Girl math. Is that truth? Yeah. That's how girls think, man. Oh, when you have money coming in from a bunch of different sources because you got boobs, you can afford to kind of think about money in a different way. That's an interesting perspective that you have there. Yeah, well, I'm afraid that if you were a woman, maybe you'd know. <laughs> I'm not. And I don't. <laughs> I'm not and I don't. That's all I can say. So. So what What would you have done if you heard? Would you walked over and ask the cops what was up? No. Why Absolutely. not? Absolutely. Why would I do that? No. It doesn't make sense. Here, excuse me, officer. Can I, uh... We don't talk to cops over here, Joey. We don't? Do you talk to cops? Not often. What do you mean, not often? What the hell does that mean? What do you mean by that? I mean, like, I have talked to a cop before. What do you mean by that, not often? (laughs) I have talked to a police officer. uh, What do you mean you have? Like, of your own volition? Like, you walked up to him, hello, officer, how's your day? What's up, homie? How you do? He's on the job, man. Do you do that to the guy at Burger King? No. Yeah. No, you don't. What's up, dog? How's your burgers? You've never done that. So I have. why are we going up to a cop and asking him, do you ask the bus driver how his day is going? I'm a cordial person. That's insane. <clears throat> I'm insane now? Why are we talking to cops? I'm insane now? We don't talk to cops out here. You want to show me? Want me to show you how insane I am? <laughs> is that what you want? Uh-huh. Okay. That's where we got? <laughs> I mean, I guess. Let me get my... Satchel. You gonna get real left-handed in this motherfucker? that we about to do? Again? About to stand my ground. Oh Jesus! Christ. I'm about to business up. <laughs> I feel threatened. I'm gonna tell you about labor laws. I feel threatened. <laughs> so yeah, it was a, uh, it was really wild. I mean, I guess, man, it seems, it seems pretty wild. What's more wild is that I'm seeing the degradation of my community around me over the over the last couple of years. That's the saddest thing. Yeah. And gentrification needs to happen, and I need to get, like, more money so I can afford it, apparently. Oh, is that what happened? You have to afford gentrification? Yeah, if you want to be in the gentrified areas, then you have to, like, have the money to, like, get into it. It, it seems something. like this was a good area, and then it was more. It, yeah, like, and I then don't... I moved here. <laughs> they just let anybody in once I got here. They're like, excuse me, sir. They let anybody in here now? And you're like, yes, ma'am. Yep. So I'm so, here. Anywho, there's crime afoot at the Crazy Town Compound. Anywho. <laughs> Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. We up.